In this video, we're going to look at how you can take the same fraction and break it up into different um, sums in order to add those sums together. So it's called decomposing is the, t is the technical term for it. But we're going to look at these two shapes here. Both have 5 eighths colored in. And what we're going to say is that right now they're both equivalent and they take up the same amount of space. We could agree upon that. But what we're going to do is we're then going to look at how they are broken up by color. So to get the 5 eighths on our shape to the left, we had red represented with 1, 2, 3 eighths. So 3 eighths is red. And then we had 2 eighths represented here. Oops, let's go ahead. 1, 2. So what we found out is that 3 eighths plus 2 eighths is 5 eighths. So we took the 5 eighths and we decomposed it into 3 eighths plus 2 eighths. Now let's look at this one over here. I could see that 5 eighths on the right, I have 1 eighth red, and then I have 1 2 eighths here, and I also now have 2 eighths in our third color. So as you could see, I decompose 5 eighths into 1 eighth plus 2 eighths plus 2 eighths to get 5 eighths. This just goes to show you that even when you have the same fraction, you could decompose it in different ways. We could actually make all five of them different colors and decompose 5 eighths into 1 eighth plus 1 eighth plus 1 eighth plus 1 eighth plus 1 eighth. It's just smart to think about the different ways that you can create fractions and how you could decompose those fractions into different parts when you have the sum and you want to break it into smaller parts.